Finally tonight here, the woman who stole the show at the Emmys this week, in the middle of all those stars, steals the show right here tonight, our Person of the Week. She was the woman who stood up right in the middle of the Emmys, again and again and again, her smile brighter than the stars all around her. The HBO movie Temple Grandin won seven Emmys, and that woman is Temple. Born in 1947 in Boston, Temple Grandin's mother had no idea why her daughter wasn't talking, wasn't smiling, wasn't hugging. She was diagnosed with autism, and Temple's mother was told what so many other parents at the time were told too. It's been suggested that it may be a lack of bonding with the mother, that at a crucial phase the mother was cold, aloof, when the child most needed physical affection. But that is not what happened. Temple's mother would not give up. Actress Claire Danes portrays Temple in the movie. She was one of the first people to challenge these completely absurd and very accepted theories about autism. Autism was meant to be the product of a frigid mother. Instead, Temple's mother took her to a neurologist and speech therapy, the kind of intervention unheard of at the time. A move Temple herself told us today changed everything. I think it's absolutely awful that mothers went through the, all of that pain. They were blamed for something they didn't cause. You know, autism is a neurological disorder of the brain. It varies from somebody that's going to remain nonverbal all the way up to the geniuses out in Silicon Valley. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of early educational intervention. As she grew older, her family would recognize Temple had a remarkable mind, cataloging images and fixating on moving objects, easily able to understand how they work. And then the summer that changed her life, visiting her aunt's ranch. And Temple could see in animals what most of us could not. Lots of Danny's looking at you. So you can see all around without moving his head. So how do you know where he's looking? His ears. He points his ears where he's looking. See? He's looking at you. Oh, I just love that scene with the horse's ears. One of the things that helped me in my work with animals is I'm a visual thinker. The movie did a fantastic job of showing how my mind works visually. There's a scene in there where a whole bunch of shoes come up all in rapid succession. My mind's like Google for images. Temple would go to college and then graduate school for animal science, championing the way animals are treated in this country. And in doing so, became a champion for the autistic children who would follow. And when the movie won top honors this week, a hug for the producer from the little girl who once couldn't do it. Oh, absolutely. I was hugging everybody that night. Temple. Mother, mother stand up, please. Please. You're right out there. Please stand up. <laughs> Giving credit to her mother there. And so we choose Temple Grandin. And it turns out the night of the Emmys was actually her 63rd birthday. And we asked her, where was the fancy gown for the Emmys? She told us, I have a farmer's tan. You don't want to see that. So Temple, congratulations and happy birthday.